Hi, this is Cheryl back with you from Farmhouse Frugally. And today I have a small dump haul and three trash to treasures for you. If you are new at Farmhouse Frugally, I do a lot of different crafts and furniture flips. We have a wonderful dump where we're able to take and leave whatever we want. So the dump hauls are phenomenal. And then I take a lot of those items and turn them from trash into treasure. So this week, my husband went and brought home 16 of these small glass vases that someone probably used for a wedding. I ran them through the dishwasher, and I will show you in a minute what I did with them. My friend who lives in the same town found this beautiful bench, and it needed a little love. She gave it to me. I found this adorable stool or ottoman on the side of the road on my way to work, so I had to pick that up. And then the day I went to the dump with my husband, found this really cute um, children's stool, which I think I might fix up for our church nursery as we are almost finished with that project. And this gorgeous vintage child's high chair. I cannot wait till the weather is warm enough to sand this down and see what the wood looks like underneath. So right now I am going to get into three trash to treasures from some of the recent dump hauls. So tr item number one was to use some of those glass vases. Um, I have a reason to use these, but I'm not ready to tell you about it just yet. So I pulled out some of the eggs and some Spanish moss and some sticks, and I just went ahead and formed some nests inside um, a dozen of those glass containers and uh, added a little bit of green moss on top of the Spanish moss just to give that a little bit, a little bit of brown moss, a little bit of dimension, the more you add a um, couple of sticks just to make that look more like an actual bird's nest. I put one egg in each of those and then I took out my paper clay and my little bird mold. Now, unfortunately, I did not have a bigger mold, but I thought I would at least give it a try. So I pushed the um, clay into the mold and then um, just pushed it right out of the mold, forming those little birds. And then I put them right in there wet and let them dry as they were. And of course, the bird is smaller than the egg, so <laughs> we'll see about that. But then it needed a little something extra, so I went into my craft room and found these beautiful little feathers that I had gotten, I believe, at the Michaels, maybe. And I put one or two feathers in each of those birds' nests just to make that realistic. And so I thought that these came out really cute. And if you stick around in the next couple of weeks, you're going to find out just what I plan to do with those. On to number two. So this past fall when my husband was at the dump, he came across this beautiful antique medicine chest or medicine cabinet that has a scalloped type top, beveled glass, um, an original keyhole. Um, I right away did not like the metal rod at the bottom. Um, but other than that, I definitely saw some incredible potential. So he found a key in some of his clock keys, and he was able to open it. And inside, it just needed to be cleaned. Um, I thought about painting it or putting some wallpaper or some paper in there, but I decided against that. So we removed that metal rod because I have a better idea for that. And then of course, cleaned that entire thing. I make my own cleaner a lot of times, people wanna know. I used uh, white vinegar. I used uh, orange peel and I soaked the orange peel in vinegar and uh, then just strained that off after a couple of weeks and uh, add a little bit of water and I just sprayed that clean. And then I did have to get some of the paint off of some of the hinges and then that uh, keyhole that just came right off so that was wonderful and then I was able to remove that hook and eye 
that they had closed it with before I decided to paint it. And um, I kind of wanted it to be a blue green. I had a green already in my stash. So I just went ahead and added a deeper nautical blue until I got a blue green color um, that I liked. And then I just went ahead and painted that with it has kind of a latex feel because the green paint was primarily um, latex but I, the blue paint was a chalk paint so a mixture which you can definitely mix those two so once that was um, completely covered with one coat then I went ahead and turned my attention to replacing that metal rod with a um, spindle so my husband helped me with that and then um, touched up with a second coat of blue wherever that needed it. Now the mirror was incredibly heavy, so he helped me to nail that good inside. And then um, I took some plaster and just filled the holes where the hook and eye closure had been sanded that, painted that, and then took out the white wax, brushed that white wax all over the paint the following day, I think it was the next day here, and then um, took a rag and wiped that back to protect the paint, especially since it will no doubt be in someone's bathroom. Um, but also I like the way that that white paint works over the blue. And then I did take some antiquing wax and some blue paint, and I tried to just kind of make that key look a little bit more antiqued or dingy looking, not quite so new and clean. I tried a couple of different things on that before I got a look that I liked better. Um, Use some screws on either side of the spindle to keep that in there nice and firmly so that, uh, you know, you could hang a towel or something from that, but just looks so much nicer than that metal rod that had been there. And here it is, propped up on my bench because I do not want to put those holes in my walls because <laughs> it's very heavy. And so um, I really love the color. I love the way that it came out. I think it's going to sell quickly. They go for a hundred bucks, I can't believe it. And then I just put some things inside. If you're ever looking for holistic products, New Hampshire Botanicals. You absolutely want to try that, especially if you have trouble sleeping. Buy the Relax. You rub a couple drops on the sole of your feet before bed, and you will be asleep in 20 minutes, and it works amazing. It is the best all-natural sleep aid I have ever used on Instagram or... Um, Etsy, so NH Botanicals. Now on to number three. I had picked up this little box. I think it came with, you know, teas or, you know, whatever, some kind of gift products for Christmas or what have you. It was at the dump and um, don't love the color at all. So I ripped out the red velvet yeah, that was in the interior and I had this pink paint left over from that pink cabinet that I had done a while back so I decided to make this very feminine for my four and a half year old niece so um, she is just adorable and is going to love this so I had this pretty napkin left over from a luncheon with some of my prayer group ladies last week and I decided what a pretty combination that would be so um, you know I tore off the white section of the napkin cut out the middle section and um, after I had painted that box pink, I just applied the Mod Podge underneath and on top of the napkin all the way around the box, giving it um, kind of a handkerchief um, look so that it would hang over the edge. I went ahead and Mod Podged it directly up, down, and around all the, you know, all the whole area. And then once it dried, I knew that I'd be able to take the X-Acto knife and cut that where it needed to be cut. Then you'll remember I had this real pretty wallpaper I cut and uh, attached to the interior, again, using Mod Podge. And uh, I thought it came out really sweet. But I remembered that I had these little, they're almost paper mache products that I had gotten, I think, at the dollar store a couple years ago. So I thought that they would be cute for her. And I just glued with wood glue one on top and one on the front um, just to give that a little bit more 
uh, of a little spring tone, a little girl look. She can put her jewelry or whatever she has <laughs> inside that box. And so uh, I put a little white wax over the whole thing to protect it. And that is how it came out. I hope she likes it. I decided to throw in a little bit of a bonus item here. Not necessarily a trash to treasure so much as a craft I took some of the waxed jute that you can get at the dollar store and other places because I had four tassels from a runner I didn't love and my vacuum cleaner was going to one day eat it up. <laughs> so I decided to cut them off, grab some beads and one of those tags I had printed from um, one of the free sites in my spring video. And then I went ahead and just um, added the beads to the twine in a little pattern and then added the tag on one end sliding the twine back up into the bead so that it would look finished after I knotted that off and then adding the tassel to the other end and you can make a tassel very easily on your hand um, if you want to reproduce something like this these beads I did get at the dump the tag I got free and the tassel I had already on my runner, so this didn't really cost me a thing. So um, once I got that all together, made sure it was nice and tight. I didn't want any gaps in the string. I went and just put it on my little tray with a bird and some other items I made in my recent spring video. So I love the way that that came out. I love using these tags. They're just a quick, easy, and inexpensive way to dress something up. So you'll have to let me know what you think about that. And I thank you for stopping by. I also, speaking of stopping by, had some visitors tonight on my bird feeder. Look at them. <laughs> Six of them. I only got a picture of three. They are so beautiful. And I am so glad that I got that opportunity to have them come and visit. So hopefully you will hit like and subscribe so you can stay tuned for my wonderful, exciting news that I will have coming up soon. Take care. I'll see you in the next one.